USB power banks are becoming vital for our day-to-day -day use. They keep our phones and tablets charged on the go and they're becoming a really common tool for everyone's backpack and handbag. This USB power bank is a little bit different though as it's also a covert audio recorder. Let's talk about the specs first and then we'll see how we can use it. The Powerbank audio recorder has a 3000 mAh battery, which can also be used to charge your phone or tablet through the USB port. The large battery will allow the device to run up to two weeks in continuous recording mode and 150 days in sound activated recording mode, meaning that you could deploy the device anywhere and leave it for a matter of months. The storage capacity on the device is 16 gigabytes, which allows for around 580 hours of audio recording, and this should be plenty of capacity for months of usage, but you can also back up the recordings to your desktop if it's filling up too quick. The two recording modes, concert recording and sound activated recording, can easily be changed through a hidden switch. The switch is located here on the back and when it's in the middle this means that audio recording is disabled. When the switch is pushed towards the two small dots, this indicates the sound activated recording mode and when the switch is pushed towards the straight line, this indicates the concert recording mode. There's also a magnet on the back of the power bank as well which can be removed and this makes the power bank very easy to install onto a magnetic surface. You can easily check the battery status of the device by pressing the button on the side of the device and the battery levels will be displayed by the number of LEDs shown on the magnet side of the device. Before using the device we recommend setting the time and date first which can easily be done by plugging the device into a computer with the micro USB cable included, opening the device and then selecting the time setup program. From there all you need to do is press start and then the time and date will now be properly configured. As we saw before, all you need to do to start recording is push the switch on the back to either concert recording mode or sound activated recording mode to start recording audio. And now let's look at the audio quality. This is what the audio quality sounds like. I'm standing about one meter away from the device and I've currently got it in sound activated mode and it picked up my voice straight away and started recording. The playback of the audio files can easily be achieved by plugging the device into a computer with the included cable and then opening the device in the file explorer. From there, you'll have all of your audio recordings which will be time and date spent. Thanks for watching. You can check out the product link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.